So today we are working on a Ford body control module. It is a Lear. Um, right here is the case that it came in. I actually took it out of the case uh, because I was having trouble getting these down in the hole on the other side. Um, also, I tried with my Auto XP400 where you actually solder on wires to there, but I was not able to get any type of uh, information. It said it was reading fine, took its time to do it even, um, and it just came back blank, all zeros every time. Uh, I've tried on several other different body control modules of the same type, and it does not work. Um, Global Commerce has a video I believe that uh, where he does it somehow, not sure how. Um, I've watched the video, I've done exactly what he says to do and I can't seem to get it. So we're just gonna do it the, the easy way with the OBD star. Um, you actually don't even need to take it out of the case if you have something that'll fit down in, in on these. Um, when you take this apart, if you do need to take it apart, it's got these little edges there and they fit down into the little holes. You just run a straight screwdriver down in there and pop each one out and work your way around. Um, and there is a Phillips screwdriver right in the center um, or a Phillips screw. You just need a Phillips screwdriver to get that out. Pretty easy there. So <clears throat> when we're doing this, this is the P004. We have 12 volts plugged in off the power supply there to feed it. Go in here, open this up. Accept, ACU flasher, body control module, enter, brand, Ford, module, body control module. We know it's a Lear. And from watching Global Commerce's video, we know this is the chip in there. So we click that. Um, you can also find this on Google if you do enough digging. Um, some of these are they're actually pretty hard to find. Um, that's my main issue I usually run into is I, I can't figure it out. So in that case, you have to split the the daughter board from the main board and actually read off the chip uh, itself. So start. We're doing it on the bench. We're using the P004. Um, we can go to the guide here. This kind of just gives us a little walkthrough on how to do everything. Shows us what we need to use with the, the P004 and the connector that we need to use. Um, and we can go to the pinout. What is going on here? Image two. So this gives us our pin out. Um, on the blue plug here, we have the first one, pin seven is can high, can low, right next to it. Both positives and our ground, which is the third one over there and that's all listed right here it shows you where everything is so now we're gonna turn this on and when I hit connect did you guys hear that click there when I hit that it clicked 
connection successful. So then we're gonna read the external EEPROM. It, it reads fairly quick. Okay, okay, just saved it. Read the internal EEPROM. A little slower, but still fairly quick. Okay, okay. The internal flash. Now this one takes a while. You guys can, uh, in the comments, let me know if you found any uh, other tools that you can use to actually get this information and get it off there correctly. Um, like I said, I, I tried the Global Commerce video with the Autel and the XP400 Pro. Uh, all I got was zeros on everything I tried to read um, from it. It said it would read good. It took its took its time, just like it's doing right now, and still just got zeros blank. Uh, I tried several different ones, uh, not just this one, and all I ever get is zeros. Um, don't really know what's going on there, or how he's doing that, or if I'm just missing something that he's doing, or what. Um, but this way seems to be a lot easier. No soldering. Um, just plug it in, click a few things, and you're good to go. Uh, a lot easier than trying to solder those six or seven little wires on. Um, and it actually works. You actually get the information, and um, it's fairly foolproof. Well, that's done. Save that one. And you can go over here to the to the hex editor, hold on. Um, let's see here. There we go. So here is the actual file. Pull this out of the way. And you can see. And I usually do one or two reads and compare it just to make sure that I'm getting a, a good read. Um, I don't know if you need to do it on this tool or if it has some type of double check, uh, like the Autel does. Um, but I just, out of habit, go through and, and check and make sure that I'm getting a, a solid read out of it. Um, go back. There we go. So when you're ready to write, Load external data. Okay. So that would be external EEPROM that we saved. Boom. So now we'll do the internal. Takes a little bit longer. Then write the internal flash. Okay. Oh, wrong one. That's what's nice about this. If you select the wrong file, it's just gonna kick you right back. This one takes a while, but I will stay till the end just so you can see that it does uh, officially write. Um, and I just, left it hooked up to the actual donor board. Um, I haven't got the original here yet to copy the, the original EEPROMs and internal flash. 
So once that's here, we'll do this all again. Um, and we'll write it right to this, this donor board. Like I said before, if if any of you have other ways of doing this that you want to share um, or other tools that are capable of doing this, feel free to drop it in the comments. Um, it's uh, hard to find this type of information anywhere. Um, I would say probably the only guy that's willing to give up this information is is global commerce i've mentioned him a couple times in this video and man go over to his page and and take a look at some of the stuff that he has it's super helpful um he's got a lot of great stuff on there and like i said he's one of the few willing to give this type of information up about done there we are written successful that's the setup boys easiest way I've found to do it remember to like and subscribe guys I'll have some new videos coming here shortly I know I haven't posted in a long time but I will get you some new videos soon.